What's up, Brown family? I got Mr. Marquise Ward turning 36. I'm 33, man, so I'm almost there. You know, it's not somebody I'm trying to look forward to, you know what I mean? Is today your actual birthday or? No, my actual birthday was January 21st. Okay. So you're just celebrating a little bit later. That's mm -hmm. understandable. Yeah. That's understandable. And uh, your family, man, is, is you have a very strong family unit. Yes, yes we do, man. Yeah. Where we from, we gotta stick together, you know. It's uh, you and your two sisters and your two brothers, correct? That's correct. Yeah, and then I grew up a little bit with Terrence and Terrell, you know, and I, I met you a long time ago. I can't really remember where. Yeah. That's when y'all when when stayed on uh, Van Street. Mm -hmm. Long, Street. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago, man. And then you and er, er, Terrence Terrell, Ernest. Yeah, right. he was around too, man. He's still around. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of looking back, man, it's something I always ask people that I interview on my YouTube channel. Um, if you could tell yourself, if you could tell your 18 or 21 year old self, like in hindsight, is there anything that maybe you would tell your younger self, like to do something different? Yeah, I would tell my 18 year old self, focus more on me, you know, and, you know, ground myself put myself in a better position, you know, to, you know, be successful. It probably would have came a little easier if, uh, you know, if I would have took some of my guidance that was taught to me and applied it to my life early on. And that's what I would have said. Right, yeah, it, it's one of those things that as you get older, you, you look back when you're young, you're like, man, <laughs> you know. You're... I should have listened. Right, right, right. You're being hard-headed, man. Yeah, but being hard -headed. It, it, It's all about, about, excuse me, it's all about going, wisdom, knowledge, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I see you got your children in here with you, man. Yeah, Beautiful I got family. All of them, you know. Oh, well, how old is your youngest and how old is the oldest? My youngest, Sedaris, he's 10 years old. My oldest, he, uh, where he at? But he's 16, I mean 15, he's 15. And my second oldest, Kadarius, he's 14. And my daughter, she's 13. So they're all kind of almost like you and yeah. your siblings, yeah. back to back. back, to back. Okay. You feel like you want to have any more? Yeah, I, I actually do. Dude, that's what's up, man. I, I, I like that. I, I come from a big family. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, even though I'm only one of four, but my mom is one of nine and my dad is one of 14. So I'm, I'm kind of acclimated to a bunch of cousins that I haven't even met, you know what I mean? You're from, from Tyler. Uh, you grew up in Tyler? We grew up in Tyler, but we were originally from Los Angeles, California. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little time in Tyler Square. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, man. I, I kind of know the story a little bit from yeah. just me interviewing your sister, you know what I mean? Man, it's rough in that thing, man. You, you gotta have a tough skin, you know, to survive, man. Right. Yeah, it is. But you did, man. You you prospered. You're turning 36, does it feel different? Did you reminisce on something from your past? Or, you know, just enjoying watching your children grow bigger? Or, man, yeah. it's... I, it's all in one bundle to me, you know, just to see things grow over time and not lose it in time. Right. right. Because yeah. a lot of people can't say what I just said because they did lose a lot of things in time and I thank God that I didn't, you know, and I appreciate the time I've been here on this earth. They got caught up in some things, you know what I mean? Now, you went, you went to John Tyler, correct? Yeah, I went to John Tyler. Uh, what year did you graduate? Two. Oh, two? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I came out in 04 at a, at a Chapel Hills, but I still know a lot of a lot of people from them for years, you know, especially with your brothers. Uh, what was it like growing up? Uh, you know, six of y'all, man. Man. It was, it was, how was that? With a, with a single mom? And, and I've heard Sonika's side of it, you know what I mean? But what about yours? Looking, looking at it, in my point of view, it, I always look at my mother like she was a strong woman. Yes, so yes. Having, having five children and raising them pretty much on my own. And I always said to myself, when I get a woman, I never leave her, you know, because I see how hard it is and how much it takes to raise children. Right, right, right. So I was just one of the, out of the, out of the five, I felt like I was the most humble one, you know, and, you know, kind of sat back and, Learn here and learn there and apply some of the things that I've learned as a child. And, and 
put it into my own adulthood. Right, right, right. Because you seem a very laid back individual. You kind of yeah, I'm pretty much laid back. You right, know, right, I don't right. really do too much or nothing. You know, I just like you know the presence of my family. Gotcha, gotcha. And and that's all. Sometimes, like here I am, 33, and I'm like, man, that's what my kids, my woman. That's, that's it, it. You know, that's it. and make this paper. You know, yeah. and and put on for my my peoples. You know, but right. uh, in my city too. But so tonight's your birthday, mm -hmm. and and I'm I'm filming it too. Right. Um, it's Chinese food. I, I, it's, it's Asian cuisine or a hibachi girl. I don't know, man. Is that is that something that you kind of like, or is that something that you don't really? And I have well? an open mind to everything. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm kind of. I'm. A, I like tacos, man. I I, uh, I, I like uh, regular food. I mean, you know, I like sushi and all that other stuff. You know, but give me some fried chicken or some roast some pollo, you know, and I'm good. Pollo, you know I mean? some chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean. <laughs> Do you have any goals or something to look forward to this year? Is there like a trip that you're going to or a class or a car that you want to purchase or something that you got an aspiration that you want for 2020? I think it's a life aspiration to, you know, set the example for my kids, my family, yeah. my community. Right. Be a upstanding human being, you know, walk the righteous path, and show people that it, it's a lot of chaos in the world, but at the same time, you can be a humble person and make it through. Right, right, right. Now, I, I mean, I, and, and again, seeing you here with your family, man, is, and then they come in and supporting you is, it's a beautiful thing, and it's something that I enjoy capturing because it's one of the things that uh, I started uh, this, this business around was um, creativity comes in many ways. And one of the ways is the love of your family is watching your kids, one going sports, one going art, one doing music, you, you know what I mean? And, and I'm sure you can test it, be a testament to kind of seeing how all your kids go on different different route, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Again, I didn't want to keep it too long, man. Do you yeah. want to uh, look at the camera and tell your family, you know, when they see this, maybe five, 10, 15 years from now, that we don't get invaded by aliens, who knows who's out there, you know what I'm saying? I just want to tell my family, y'all stay, stay peaceful, have love in y'all heart, with any and everybody, even your enemies, you know? Love them at all costs. Stay strong. Uh, that's that's good, man. Keep a faith in me. Keep your faith. Yeah, yeah, that's that's something that it's hard to do sometimes, man. We you know, never lose it. But happy birthday, Marquise. Thirty six years it, old, man. man. And I hope to hopefully have your children more around here in this in this beautiful facility, man, because I love teaching children, you know what I mean? For the next generation, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Yeah, appreciate right. you, man.